Hi, welcome. I'm going to be showing today one of my favorite inner thigh and core workouts using the Pilates reformer. We're going to start hip distance apart on a white spring or your light spring, whatever you have on your reformer. Heels underneath the sits bones. Take your hands to your pelvis here. We're going to start just thinking about alignment as we slide the reformer back and forth. Okay, engaging through the core, keeping the top of your hips in line with your pubic bone. Exhaling as we draw the reformer back into a close, inhaling as we move through into a stretch. Now taking a C curve, roll down, arms starting up tall, rolling chin to the chest, reaching towards the back end of the reformer, inhale, rebuilding that spinal column up tall, open up once again exhale chin to the chest one vertebrae at a time back down engaging through the core deeply as we rebuild once again and lift adding in rotation opposite arm to leg still utilizing that c curve exhale as we lift up and inhale as we move into the stretch Again, exhale as we lift, and you don't have to aim low. You could come up to the thigh as well. Again, stand tall, exhale, inhale into the stretch. Now taking a flat back, place your hands to your hips, hinge forward. And as we stand, move the legs apart. Once again, return back in, hinge forward, flat back, and move it apart. Now we're going to reverse. Come forward with that flat back, place the hands to the small of the back, and lift. Once again, inhale into that stretch, and exhale, and lift. Moving into our side lunges, opposite arm to leg, once again. One leg remains straight. Draw it in with the exhale. Inhale into the stretch. C curve still throughout that spine. And lift tall, rebuilding that spinal column each time. Exhale, bring those legs together. Inhale, sliding into that side lunge. Same movement, slightly different feel in external rotation. Again, exhale, draw the legs together, inhale into that side lunge. Each time a chance to rebuild your posture. And now taking an isometric hold here, lining the knees right up over the ankles. If you have hand weights, or like to use hand weights of this series, you can. Once again, place the hands behind the head. Bring yourself back up to a standing place. Moving into our side planking here. Moving the body out, exhale back in. This hand can be used as support here. If not needed, you can also bring the hand up. Taking into our variation here, hold that side plank, hip dip. Inhale as we lower the hip, exhale as we lift. And now taking the arm under. Once again, inhale open, exhale under. And for a variation, take it to the knee here, holding that leg up, hip dip. Once again, inhale the hip down, exhale and lift. Hold that body inside plank, inhale open up the arm, exhaling, taking it underneath the body. And now moving into our final inner thigh series here from the knees. I personally love this as zero spring. We're on the knees, we're closer to the ground. If you don't feel comfortable with that, then to continue with your light spring, hollow and round. Exhaling as we close, inhale as we rebuild the spinal column, this time just from the knees. Taking it into rotation here, Keeping the spine upright and tall. Exhale as we close. Inhale as we open. Exhale. 
and now taking the burner here. So holding it out into a place where we feel a stretch, but we still feel it within control. Pull in from that point, partial range of motion, full stretch out. Again, exhale up. You could also add in hand weights here. Exhale up partially and inhale, return full out. Once again, exhale and lift and inhale back out to your stretch. Now for the full stretch here, placing the hands down onto the reformer or fully down into the floor for more stretch. 